In this lesson, we're going to be talking about how you can do some tracing inside shortcuts a lot for, but we're going to focus this on single color tracing. Now, you may want to use this. I, I know that there's several options available for you uh, when it comes to tracing anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and choose an image here, and I'm going to choose this Ghostbuster logo anyway. Okay. Now, the mode that I'm talking about is single color. Now, this thing does have multiple colors. You can try to use it if it uh, gives you a good trace. However, sometimes you'll find that uh, multicolor layers really isn't for you. It's not given a good trace. And at that point, that's when we have to basically use the single color. All right. So with this, uh, you know, basically we want the red. Uh, we're going to do the red first, and then we're going to back that up with the black. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this, make sure that we do have the red. And I can go ahead and click Update Preview and sort of see what's going on. Now, what happens with this contrast? Uh, you know, I can slide it all the way up, and we're going to get a lot more things. As you can see, it's picking up the black along with the red. So the... This is almost as if you're trying to use some tolerance uh, along with this here. So we're just going to keep that here. We'll do a quick update, see how things are going. Something else you may want to try to do is just use that zoom tool uh, to see how it is tracing. So at this point, uh, we're really getting what we wanted from this. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So we got the red. Now let's get the black. So for this, we're going to go back up to trace. I'm going to go ahead and choose my image again, find it in my folder. And instead of the red, we're going to go ahead and choose the black. Now, if you can't get it right on, that's like I said, that's where um, you know your zoom handles come into play. So I'm going to reselect the color, put my mouse over the black, and there we go. It has selected the black. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. Looks like that's good. I'm going to hit Update Preview. And then I'm going to click OK. Now, at this point, you do see we do have something over here. I mean, really not that big of a deal. Uh, you can go ahead and use the eraser if that's what you want to do. All right. So that, that's how you can get multiple colors in here. Now, you know, this also works perfect for, you know, coloring book types of images. And I'm going to I'm going to show you that here with uh with this. So, I'm going to go ahead and choose my image. It's under my downloads folder and I believe it's under here, right here. So, uh, like I said, this may seem a little bit tedious by going color by color by color. However, you'll see that uh, this will save you time if you try to do the multi multiple colors. All right. So I click on this. I want the reds. Okay. I can click update preview. All right. It's it's not getting all of it. You know, you can you can adjust this as needed to sort of see what it would pick up if you're trying to do the red. So there's that. I didn't get too much. I'm going to hit update preview. All right. That looks great. I'm going to hit OK. Now we have to repeat this process for every single color uh, and just play with it. Okay, so. So there you can see how you can keep using the single color in order to complete your shape or your tracing of a coloring book style of image. All right. So hope you liked this video lesson and we'll see you next time.